Hi everyone, my name is Cher. Welcome to my channel. So today I have a super exciting Dollar Tree haul that I am so excited to share with you. I finally found some items that I have been very, very patiently waiting for and I wasn't really sure if they were ever going to arrive at my store, but they did. Oh my goodness, you guys, I've been watching a lot of my YouTube friends hauling these items and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on them. I found the vinyl and I also found the beach themed fairy garden items. So you can only imagine how excited I was. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around and see what I got. So before we get into those exciting items, I do have a few other new items that I found and I was super excited to find as well. First up is this adorable little um, eyeshadow palette and they had different styles of this as well. This is the one that I picked up because I just saw these colors and I figured that these would be more suited to me. And this is really, really nice for a dollar, you guys. Oh my gosh, well, a dollar 25 if you're here in Canada, which is what we pay for our items at our Dollar Tree. And I see that some items are also becoming a dollar 50. Uh, all our bread products have moved up to dollar 50, and I noticed that some of the glassware is also a dollar 50 per item. So, yeah, we are paying a little bit more now in Canada, but that's still okay because they're still a really good deal. Oh my goodness, look at this palette. This is really, really nice. Oh my goodness. So you get the little applicator, obviously, and uh, the little mirror. And I'm just going to check and just see. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're definitely very pigmented. I'm going to try one of these peachy colors here. That one's not very colorful, but maybe this one will be. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah, I think these are going to be really, really nice. Um, the other ones were like, they had a lot of purples and a lot of blues and greens, and I'm just, I'm not really into those colors, but this is a really cute little palette, and I'm really glad that I picked it up. I have used Mariposa products before, and I've never had a problem with any of their makeup, so yeah, if you see these, you might want to give these a try. I love it when I can find name brand products at Dollar Tree, and this is another one. I've actually bought these before at Dollar Tree, and this time I picked it up in the Strawberry Shine flavor. <laughs> and I like this because it does give you a little bit of a shimmer, and yeah, these are a great deal as well. This next item is actually something that I wish I had seen oh, a few weeks ago because I would have put it in Megan's Easter basket. These kits I thought were so super cute. So they're to make friendship bracelets. Um, so you get all these different colors of like the floss. You could also use this for embroidery thread if you're into cross stitching, which Megan also is. So she could just add these to her kits, her embroidery kit if she uh, doesn't end up using these for friendship bracelets. I'm sure she can go on YouTube and find all different kinds of tutorials on how to make those. So if you see these, this might interest your kids. Um, I think it would be kind of a fun thing to do. So I've been doing a bunch of spring cleaning recently and putting away and organizing a lot of my seasonal items. And these Dollar Tree storage bags come in so handy for that purpose. Uh, I normally like to get the extra large, which come in a two pack, but this time I just picked up the large ones because I can definitely use these for some of the items that I need to put away. And so if you see these, you definitely can't go wrong picking some of these up. I found this awesome burner cover and I had to get it, of course, because of the truck. I've seen others hauling other items that have the same truck on it. I believe I've seen someone haul um, some tea towels that had this on and I think there's even some pot holders out there with these uh, little trucks on. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eyes out for that. I thought that I might actually cut this out with some, I don't know, scissors, might cut this, I'm not sure, or some kind of shears. And I think I might frame it. I think it would be really cute done up that way. So in with all of the stickers, I found this adorable little stencil set and I just had to pick it up. I think they are so cute. Look at the little apron, the rolling pin. Oh my goodness, had to have those. And then I also found this little palette. Now I'm gonna show you what I have in mind for this in just a minute. Um, but there was also a bigger size one. These would be great to stain or paint and then you could use your Cricut and put some wording on here, make a little sign out of it. But that's not what I plan on using this for. So stick around and I'll show you what I have in mind. I picked up this two pack of painting sponges. I do have some wood projects coming up here soon and I think these will be really, really good for applying stain to those. And then while I was up paying, I had a little impulse buy. I saw this adorable little pom-pom keychain thing and it must be left over from Easter because it definitely screams Easter to me with the colors. And I think this would make a really cute pom-pom for a gnome hat, perhaps. All right, so we're gonna move on to the exciting stuff now. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with the beach themed fairy garden items because I was so happy to see them at my store and you know what I think this set that they brought out with the beach theme is probably one of the nicest sets that they have ever made 
in my opinion anyways I just love them I think they're so awesome now first of all I when I first walked in the store they actually had this on their front display and I had to pick it up because I think it goes so perfectly with the beach theme fairy garden items and I think that's gonna look really cute in a fairy garden along with those and then I think I'm just gonna start with the larger items so first up is this adorable little house although I don't really think it's a house it's more like a garden shed or something like that a little beach shed I guess um, so cute with the little surfboard here I love the details and the color of this is so pretty and it looks like like faux wood and it's just it's really well done I think that is so cute now they had a couple of different shell houses but I just got the one because I didn't really care for the other one, but I think this one's really cute. And again, they've carried that same color that's on the little shed here uh, onto this little house as well. I think that's really, really cute. And moving along, this piece has got to be one of my favorite. Oh my gosh. How stinking cute is this little bug? Now, some of you probably don't know that when I first moved here, when Megan and I first moved here, uh, my boyfriend actually <laughs> got us a little yellow convertible bug and we had so much fun in that little car top down we live in the Okanagan it's sunny 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 here and we had a lot of fun in that little car but not very practical in the winter so we had it for about a year and then we sold it but we definitely made some memories in that little car when I saw this I just had to get it it's so cute and moving along I found a couple of really adorable little beach chairs thought those were really really sweet and then they only had two of these so I was I grabbed both of them because I didn't want to let those go and I was specifically looking for these chairs I love these little I think they're called uh, Muskoka chairs or Adinirandak I always say that wrong anyways I love these little chairs I make my own out of popsicle sticks as well but when you can pick up resin ones that hold up to sun and wind and rain <laughs> don't fall apart like my wooden ones do these are a great find and if I see more I'll definitely pick up a few more now I was hinting earlier about what I was going to do with this little wooden palette and I'm going to show you what I have in mind so I'm going to paint this either white or stain it um, brown or whatever but I thought this would make a perfect little deck for these adorable little chairs now I also make my own little fire pits which I think would look really really cute on the front here and to go along with this I also picked up the little umbrella it's so cute it's got like the little shell there as well so this could also go on here as well so you can see kind of where I'm going with this and then if you think about having you know your little house and some maybe some plants some real plants or some fake plants or even some succulents that you can get from Dollar Tree you could put together a really adorable little little fairy garden a little or a little garden arrangement of some sort and I think this little palette deck would be a perfect addition to any fairy garden I couldn't resist coming home with two of these adorable little palm trees with the flip-flops hanging from them oh my goodness I just love these anyone that knows me knows that I am a huge flip-flop fan uh, I wear flip-flops till it snows and as soon as the snow melts I get them out again <laughs> so <laughs> these were very fitting for me for sure I picked up one of the little sailboats as well I thought that was so cute and then they also had these little pathways I'm not a big fan of this raised I guess this is supposed to be clouds I wish it was more flat but you can kind of get the idea um, if you wanted to put your little house either in behind the clouds or you could even put it right on top here and then you've got this adorable little pathway super cute with the rainbow and then I just picked up a few of the little figurines that go with this set as well so I picked up one of the packages of the shells I also got the little buckets so one's got the little shovel one's got a little beach ball and look at this one it's got like this little fish in it how cute is that and then we've got ones with the little signs here the palm tree super cute and I also got this one again mainly for the flip-flops <laughs> and then the last one in the set that I picked up were just the little gnomes here I thought they were actually pretty cute and sometimes I don't I pass on a lot of times on these little gnomes because their faces usually are not very cute and they're usually really sloppily painted but these ones are actually not too bad so you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for an upcoming beach themed fairy garden because that will be coming soon 
So moving on, I'm going to show you now all the vinyl products that I got. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Dollar Tree is selling vinyl. Can you? It's just unbelievable to me. And what a great deal this is. So for any of you that have a Cricut cutting machine or any of those kind of cutting machines, you definitely want to get your hands on this. I have been watching others that have found them and they've actually tried them out and they say that they it works really, really well. It cuts well. It's, uh, you know, it's really easy to work with. And so I haven't actually personally tried it yet myself, but I definitely will be and I will uh, let you know what I think of it. So first up, I already have tools that go with my Cricut cutting machine, but you know what? You can always use an extra set if something breaks or say you might be crafting with a friend or something like that. So I just picked up one of the little craft spatulas. I also picked up one of their um, scrapers. You can never have too many of these. These come in really handy when you're doing uh, vinyl, you know, cutting out and all that kind of stuff. So this is a great little tool to have on hand. And again, another thing that you can never have too many of are these little pickers. <laughs> um, great little addition to your crafting stash as well, but definitely if you've got a Cricut cutting machine or one of those kind of machines. Now I'm gonna move on to the vinyl. So first of all, I think I'm gonna show you the vinyl sheets. I had seen everybody hauling the vinyl rolls, so I knew those were out there, but I had no idea that Dollar Tree was gonna be selling vinyl sheets. So these are 12 by 12 sheets and they had a variety of colors. So I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through the ones that I picked up, but there were even more than the ones I'm gonna show you. So this one is kind of like a gray color. I got it in the green, love that color. That's gonna be great for summer. This I think is more, I thought it was red at first, but I think it's more of an orange. And I got it in silver. They also had gold, but I'm not a huge fan of gold. So I just got the silver one. This nice dark purple, I think that's really pretty. Got it in white. And then I also picked it up in the navy blue. So keep your eyes open for this. In my store, it was actually in one of the little storage bins where they have uh, scrapbook paper. And I just kind of was looking through there and then I, I would not have seen it had I not looked where the scrapbooking paper was because I definitely wasn't looking for these and I had no idea that these were even available. So you might want to give that a, a little check in your store just to see if you have these as well. So not only has Dollar Tree given us vinyl, they've also brought out faux leather. Oh my goodness. There were a couple other colors of the leather as well, but I just picked up these three. So I got it in this kind of tan color and the white, and it's kind of got like the texturized leather look here. And then I also picked it up in the black. So you get on these rolls, um, let's see here, 11.75 inches by 20 inches is the amount of product on each of those rolls. So I was really happy to find those. Now, I have a Cricut Air 2. My Cricut won't cut the faux leather, but if you have a maker, I'm pretty sure you could probably use this in the maker. No, no problem at all. Now, moving on to the vinyl. So my store had two, they had just opened the boxes up. So I basically had first dibs and the more I was digging in the box, the more colors I was finding, but I never did get to the bottom of the box, which I have a feeling the one color that I really was looking for was probably on the bottom. So next time I go, I'll check again. So I came out with three rolls of the black. I use a ton of black. Um, that's my primary color. That and white is basically what I use the most of. So on these rolls, we're getting uh, 12 inches by 48 inches of vinyl. And then I also picked up two of the white. And these are permanent. So permanent white is the black permanent as well. Ooh, no, the black is actually removable. So I'm not sure if they sell both, but that happens to be what I picked up. I didn't even look at that actually, but it's nice that they are selling, you know, permanent and removable. I also picked up some glitter vinyl, which I've never worked with before. So I'm excited to give this a try. So I picked up uh, two of the silver. That was really pretty. I picked up, one of the kind of black here with the little glitters in them there. 
and I got two of this really pretty rose gold. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this. I think that is so, so nice. So the one item that I did not pick up that went along with all these vinyl products was their transfer tape. I have not heard many good things about that, so I just passed on it. But I do wanna give you a little tip. If you go to where all their shelf liner and all that kind of stuff is and pick up a roll of their clear, this actually works really, really well. And this is all I ever use for transfer tape uh, whenever I'm transferring my vinyl. So really cheap, inexpensive way to do that. Uh, you don't have to go and spend a lot of money on that. I've also heard that the Duck brand um, that you can pick up at Walmart is really good as well. I haven't personally tried that myself yet, but I have very good success with this stuff so you really can't go wrong for again for a dollar dollar 25 here in canada so if you've seen some items here that i've showed you today that you really would like to get your hands on i hope that you can find them in a store near you as well so until next time please stay safe healthy and happy and i'll catch you on the next one bye for now everybody